Alright, so here is my uh, 30 volt tamp DC power supply, model number LW K3010D from banggood.com. Links in the video description. Already got all the screws out, there's just five screws in it. Let's have a look and see what the build quality inside's like. Okay, so of course I open it up on the back side of the board. Which is a long Wii switching mode power supply. We already knew it was switch mode. A couple of big resistors soldered onto some fairly decent terminal tracks there. Some output wires soldered onto some pretty big terminal track pads. Nice rail in the top support on the board. So it's still actually got a bit of strength to it even with the case off. So look at the business side of things. Nice big heat sinks. Three of them. Right in front of the fan, which actually sucks a good quantity of air. Just a standard modular fan, easy to replace if you ever needed to. Doubt that you would. Looks like we got some uh, adjusters up there. Boards obviously of reasonable quality. They've got uh, the logo in a few places of it and the revision number down here. The revision of this board is 2016 1103. I'd assume it's a date code. The potentiometer there. So the top one's the voltage one, and the current one down the bottom. Everything there's pretty neat and tidy. Display board up the top. Soldering job's not the most beautiful thing ever made in the world, but it's not a big drama either. Wiring comes in in high voltage over there, away from everything else. Uh, I don't have it anymore, I actually threw the old one out, but the um, transformer base one I had, the mains power came all the way to the switch at the front. And I really didn't like that, because uh, you know, if a wire fell off it could accidentally hit one of these, and you put your hands all over those ones because you assume that they're low voltage, just out of habit. Well, if, it, if it had got through one day it could have been horrible. And this one, this one's quite neat. As you can see how small it is, like it's pretty much 70 mil wide. It's 18650 for reference. And what? Turn a bit tall. That's a, it's a small form factor. It's extremely light because the only thing heavy on it's three little, yeah, three little tiny transformers and a choke coil. So as you can see, no weight in it. Nice big guard on the fan. Is it easy to put back together? Now while we're looking at it, I'll tell you that I've actually started using it relatively hard. I did a bit of work with it the other day. I had these three 8 volt cells connected up, I had it set to 26 volts charging them at 10.5 amps and left it there for probably two hours before it started dropping in current it dropped because it was getting charged it started dropping down to I think it dropped down to about six and a half zero issue at all all ran off the inverter so we'll run off your uh, off-grid power system yeah Quite impressed with it actually. Uh, if you do want to buy one of these, the link is in the top of the video description. Um, it is from banggood.com. They kindly sent me this. Full disclosure, they sent me this for review. Um, I don't have to say anything nice about it if I don't want to. 100% uh, up to me. But uh, the 
unit I'm actually really happy with. Don't buy one of the Transformer bigger square ones. I'll see if I can find a link to my failure of the lab power supply videos and put that in the description as well. If you're thinking of one of them for, I think I start, they start at about 65 bucks Australian and go up to around 100. They're only 5 amps and they won't push 5 amps for all day either. Transformers in them cook. Because there's no actual airflow. Whereas this has got beautiful vents down each side and a fan right on the heat sinks where the uh, cooling needs to happen. So, good unit. Use it anywhere in the world. IEC cable, multi voltage capable. I'm assuming multi hertz capable, 50 and 60. Doesn't actually tell me. Um, yeah, nice little rubber feet so it won't mark a bench top. And uh, if the fan did manage to vibrate, if it got dust or something on it, it would isolate the vibration sound. Yeah, it's got a ground pin in the middle there, and then positive and negative, obviously. So, that's what's inside it. I really like it. Uh, I may even go and buy another one. If you buy it through my affiliate link, which is in the description, not only will you get a great quality little power supply for cheap, you may even help support my channel. Thanks heaps for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like the uh, video. Go and watch the other video, I'll link to that in the video description as well, which is the uh, first fire up and test of it. But, uh, we'll see what we can run with it in the future, you will see it in a lot more videos. Probably not featured all about it, but it'll get used in a lot more videos. Because it's uh, quite universal and quite powerful. Thanks heaps for watching guys, catch us on the next video. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Catch us later.